Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Moonbase where in the previous episode we were driving around in a vehicle and sideswiping some horrible rock creatures and also gathering and then losing some of the artifacts because, well, I placed them down in sandstorms but there you are. Either way, this is going to be probably the last episode of the series because we've only got uh, five or six days left so the objective is basically to uh, gather more research points in order to unlock things like the Mark II suit and, and that sort of thing. Thing because well why not so over to the boxes here I've just created some more food so you see put the remnants back there and I'm also going as you can see to here and crafting some more items but there we are car should be charged up I will take some food I'm gonna go inside and get ourselves some oxygen in terms of power we are perfectly fine we've got two RTGs on the go two backup generators two solar panels and a windmill connected to the main hub we haven't got any internal farming fact we've only got one farming block and it's here but we really don't require any more to be honest so let's just head out and we'll see what we can gather i'm just having a quick look on the map and see that yeah around this area is probably the bit we want to have a a bit of a look around obviously in terms of resources we're doing quite well uh, i think we probably will need some more metal if we were to craft anything major but at this stage it is just about not crashing into rocks but then you know there's a failure uh, <laughs> yeah it's just about really gathering some more resources and some more stuff for research really just for the sake of completion I want if nothing else to get ourselves the probably the mark II suit I think is the way forward we could go for research and things like that but I haven't really you know focused on it too much you can see I'm driving in a fairly erratic pattern but there's no big dramas there let's just go ahead and we'll grab this one if I can get three of them while I'm out and about and that would be great however I'm very aware that it's about to come dark very very shortly luckily this thing does have some lights on the front and you're able to probably see that as we are driving around here but yeah just have a quick go back over from the areas there we go that's why you go back over because there was this thing just sitting right there i always tend to, i always get out on the right hand side of the vehicle which i guess you know it makes sense it just is what it is but it's always on the wrong or it always seems to be the wrong side and we have to end up going around the vehicle but there you go so there is crunch uh one of those i don't think those creatures actually attack the buggy itself i think they simply attack the player same as the base they don't come towards the base but they will however very happily try and get to the player even if it means going around walls and such i don't think they actually attack the walls but anyway i've uh, not not experienced it so there you are so just having a quick drive around and a quick smash into there because why not i can hardly see anything quite frankly when it comes to the driving here although i noticed that we have one artifact here and there's one a back over that i didn't see but i can see on the mini map so it's over to our left hand side here it's just there so i've just uh, drove past it and missed it which i think we can be forgiven considering the considering the position of <laughs> the position of our uh, vehicle as well as our visibility which is limited to very very little and as you can see because of the thing at the back as well we are struggling to turn around as well looks like i'm gonna to have to head back i need to head sort of sort of this direction not really southwest more south southwest is I think the right call up, up until then there was a fairly straight shot and oh we're actually already back at the base we're back at the base a lot sooner than I thought we are so what I'm going to do is just go around this way I think it's easier coming in this part of the base than it is in the top and oh uh, for once I noticed that the no, for once this isn't sprung a leak which is normally what ends up happening I'm just going to grab a quick bit of energy there and then go up to here and then start researching that I also want to go down and over to here and pick ourselves a box up which requires scrap so that is quite easy to pick up uh, one two sets of scrap and then we'll craft a cargo container some of the stuff we haven't made is a vehicle repair kit and a battery jumper. Those are probably quite a desirable thing to have, but I just, well, haven't, just uh, haven't built them. It, realistically, if this was a longer game and there was more things to find, I would probably put those in, 
I will probably keep hold of some of those, especially in the trunk of this here, and make sure that we can keep one on site. So if we get damaged or we run out of power or whatever, then we would be able to jump start the vehicle. But well, we don't really need it, do we? So there you are. Oh, just a cycle just to get the rest of our oxygen there. Our maximum oxygen is 200, so we'll wait for that to take up. And then we're just going to head straight out again because, well, why not? We want to find more artifacts, although, to be fair, it was not being here. Oh, that's running out of power? Ah, oh, right, okay, I see. So it's run out of power. Um, that's because originally the battery was charged up with the generator. So I don't know if the RTG can power this entirely. Hmm. I would very much like to get another solar... Maybe a solar panel, or we could get a wind turbine. The problem with the wind turbine is just the sheer sheer size of it and the distance you need around it. I can get... I can probably get another... I think we can get another solar... Uh, another... Yeah, another solar panel, probably. I just need to craft those resources. And then from here, yeah, there's a solar panel. So we'll be able to put a solar panel connected to this. There we go. There's that done. I'm going to put these resources back. So get rid of that. Get rid of that. While I'm here, let's just craft the rest of those. And that one's done. So artifact number four again, which is a shame. We keep finding that artifact, which is something I don't want. Um, I mean, I like... The artifacts, fair enough, that's pretty good, but yeah, we're looking for different artifacts. Anyway, I'm going to place in the solar panel. I'm going to place that in there, because I can still, as far as I can tell, can I go in between? I can't, but I can get to there. And I can go up to here as well, if I need to. So that's fine. So we'll just place this box in here. You shouldn't really stack them like this, but don't think there's any great problem at this stage. Alright. That's fine. Uh, and we should be able to, with those 20 research points, get the Suit Mark 2. So it unlocks a far fancier suit for exploring the hostile world. Max oxygen plus 50%. Max suit power plus 50%. Gets hungry less often. And there we go. There's the Mark 2 suit. I don't know if there's any physical change in the way it looks. I really can't uh, tell, but there you are. Okay, there's nothing in the trunk there, or the boot, or whatever you would like to call it, in the bit back there. And does this have storage? No, it doesn't have storage. The other vehicle that we could create if we wanted to would be the Dozer, a slow drilling machine with a pressurised cabin. So you can drive around as much as you want, well, apart from when power runs out, you understand. But, uh, yeah, it will... It will be very good for digging stuff, like, for example, all of the rocks and stuff for, for this. But we've already done it with the jackhammer anyway, so there's no big issue there. In terms of day and night, we're probably about to go to night time. And, yeah, it is slowly going now, I think. We've got lights. We've got the lightning collector. And metal wall, a fancier wall. Oh, a gate. Opens and closes a gate. Mm. Let's go for that. Components, metal beams, and engine. So engine requires electronics. I'm going to pick up the scrap because almost certain we're going to use that. So craft one, craft one, and an engine. I think it said two engines. So craft, craft, and then craft. So there's two engines. You only get the one when you make each one. Oh, sorry, you need only one engine, but you need two of the girders, which I do have, but I do need some more metal now. And we need some components, which we should be able to make. Yeah, we get three of those. So pick that up, and let's craft a gate. While that is arcing and sparking, I'm going to see this, and there's artifacts number six, plus five research points. So I'm going to pick up another artifact, and then start the progress there again. In terms of our research log, we are missing artifact, uh, it will be six, eight, nine, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. 
So we'll have a look at that at some point. So there's the gate, and it is... Don't say it's just a tiny gate. Oh, no. That's it. So can you press it? Oh, yeah, you can press it, and it stops... <laughs> it stops you uh, going through. So, yeah, it's interesting. I don't think it is overly useful. <laughs> I don't know what else I... I don't know. If, if Maybe on a more extreme difficulty, perhaps, then, yes, that would be something that I may end up uh, looking at, but there you are. Uh, we need one more, so we'll craft, I think, hopefully one more. I've got all of the gears required, I just simply don't have the metal beams. So what we'll do is we'll fill our suit oxygen up and then we're going to head out. I'll put this stuff in the, uh, in the boxes here. And you can see our suit oxygen is 300 now. So it's reasonable, I think, to assume that we can spend a decent amount of time wandering around. I want to say wandering around, I mean jumping in this vehicle and then having a drive. And this time we'll drive to the... I think we'll drive to the south... the southeast. So spin that round and we're going to look for artifacts. That's our standard procedure at this stage of the game. But we'll also, if we find an artifact, when we stop and search, I'll gather metal, if I see any. So there's an artifact, which we went straight through. But I'll pick up this artifact, like that, and then we'll use the shovel to gather these. Oh, look at that. There's some more down the bottom. And we'll use the shovel to uh, take care of business as well. And there we go. Okay, good. Uh, that'll do us for now. Don't want to spend too much time in gathering that. Like I say, it's an artifact hunting mission primarily. So a little bit to the left. There's an artifact. Perfect. Gonna use our axe here. I notice as well, it's pushing the vehicle. Just gonna dump that down. I don't want to be collecting that. Let's just grab this metal. More, more metal. I don't know if that's new, by the way. When you travel a little bit further away, you get this little marker to show where your vehicle is, but I don't think that's got a unlimited range. In fact, I'm fairly positive it's not got an un unlimited range. You can see I'm going to the side there. It's not my... <laughs> not something I'm wanting to do. Oh, look at all this. Well, we're in this field of ore, so we might as well pick it up. Yeah, I didn't want to go to this side. It just happens to be... The uh, best way to go back. Just trying to search for that area there. There we go. So it's nice seeing the enemies. And you get some stuff off them. I wonder if eventually there's going to be more stuff added in the game for, for combat. I know there's other enemies... Coming to the game, there's like a spitter that's been teased on uh, the developer's Twitter. But I don't know whether combat as a mechanic is going to be mandatory. So at the moment, we can happily go through the game probably ignoring these creatures. Like, if we didn't want to, if we want to do a passive run, then we can do that. There's nothing that forces us. Ow! into that rock. There's nothing that forces us into combat. Like, we can we can happily avoid it. We can go th around the enemies. We can, you know, sneak around them, whatever. Uh, we don't have to engage in them. There's not a resource that they drop, for example, that forces us to initiate combat or to seek them out. So I wonder if that's going to change in the future where combat will be mandatory, like certain creatures will drop like, for example, this new spitting enemy. I wonder if it drops, like, a some sort of enzyme or acid or something that will be needed for a future a future upgrade or something. And there we go. See what I mean? We can just get back in our vehicle, crash into a rock, and then drive off. So, you know, not all of that was styled out very well, but at least we <laughs> got here. And i think that's a reasonable time to head back we have got four artifacts and i think there's still one in the box back at home and the thing is i am pretty much banging into every single 
rock around here, and that's not ideal. In fact, it's suboptimal, I would say. We are on just under half fuel, and also vehicle health is at 75%, so we're okay. We could have happily continued out, but because it was so... Because it's so dark around here, quite frankly, I thought, well, you know what, let's just... Let's just uh, go back. That's obviously going to be out of oxygen, so I'm not going to uh, be bothered about that. Artifact Zero is ball of yarn again, so is that... Is that... Well, yeah, we've already got that. So we've got a ball of yarn, we've got a litter box, we've got a food tray, we've got a brush, we've got a cat with a like sort of cartoony skeletal remains on the back. We've got unknown, a fish ball. Everything is broken. Um, I actually do need to go inside because I really do need oxygen. There we go. I could probably use one of the bottles I've got, but alas. Um, we also need some food. There we go. There's that sorted. I'll just push this vehicle back. There we go. And we'll crack on with metal beams. I think that's what it was. I I think that's what I needed for for crafting this thing. So I'll pick those up. I'm going to put some of these artifacts back in the box. I wonder if the no, it does just say artifact. It didn't. It doesn't say like artifact. And then a number or anything like that, which is fine. So we need another beam, which is close. And we need one more gear, which I think is in this box anyway. Yes, it is. So up to there and then craft another one. So I'm going to put back the wires and the gears. And I will pick the gate up. Probably craft some more of this metal plate because we are completely out of that one. Uh, go back inside before we asphyxiate. That's suboptimal. By the way, today's beverages. Nice cup of green tea. Actually, it's green and... It's like a green and lemonish infusion, I think. Never had it before, but it's okay. And there's our... And there's our gate, so we can go back. Alright, good. I'm interested in building the dozer, actually. Do we need it? No. Do I want one? Well, yeah. Why would we not? Let's put this vehicle over here. There's no reason why we can't. It's our base, our storage. Base we didn't build very large. I think this is one of the smallest tabs that we've we've made. There's a cat box, a like cat carrier. I should probably finish going back through that because we were going through it. Oh, that's the wrong button. Um, so we've got yeah the cat carrier there, artifact number six, the fish ball, got a. Collar with a bell on it, scratching post, clockwork, wind-up mouse, like a little, um... <laughs> I was going to say <laughs> a, fi a cat fishing rod, but it's like a... Just a little toy, isn't it? Then you've got a cat bed, cat nip, I'm guessing, and a box. And I don't know what these are. One of them here is certainly suspect. That's a paper bag, maybe, with treats. We shall see. So, we can unlock advanced modules... Which I will, because I am officially sick of the base getting wrecked. So I want to, <laughs> I want to make a, one of these here, which is a repair drone requires an engine and electronics. So we will crack on with that one. So engine and electronics will require, I think, one of those. So electronics, we require some wire. We'll craft one of those. Not too sure exactly how many. It is two electronics and one motor. So craft, 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 and then motor, craft. Is that all right? Just pick that up. Put more of those in there. And then repair drone is metal plates. Yeah, I just need the metal plates again, which I can actually not pick up. So I'm just going to dump that on the ground just for now, just temporarily while we... Do that. Actually, you know what? <laughs> with the with the things flying away, I'm uh, gonna probably not do that. And that should be it, actually. Yeah, repair drone. So the repair drone is a useful piece of kit. In fact, I would say it's an extremely useful piece of kit. You can place it wherever, and it will fly around and repair. So I'm gonna place it. I think here. I don't think. Place it there. I don't think we need the generator, but I'm going to place one just sort of 
there just in case we need any extra power. So what happens if anything breaks, the repair drone will light up and then it will head off to go and repair. It is quite useful that way. There's the scratching post, plus 10. That's uh, five research points in artifact number 10. We'll continue and research some more. And yeah, we're still missing these four. We do have two more things to craft, but I'm very tempted to make... I mean, I could make the the dozer. Do we want to make the dozer? Oh, powered water collector. That actually would might be quite useful. What also is quite useful, I find, is oxygen in the lungs. So I'm just going to go inside and and uh, yeah, grab some grab some oxygen in here. I like the way that the gates actually fit in on the, around the walls as well. These are the uh, original stone walls that we placed. So uh, pretty good, pretty good. I also may make the hub a bit bigger, mainly just so it stores more. If it just stores more, then it might be all right for us. What do you need? You just need four metal plates. Yeah, if we place like a uh, the habitat modules, uh, they'll just store more more energy. So I think that's what we. Uh, sorry, more oxygen. More oxygen. That might be a desirable trait for our base. Still not convinced with those things, the stone walkways. It's a shame you can't place them underneath there. Um, there's also a med bay as well, which is a medical station for healing. We haven't got one of those, and that might be a good thing as well. So we need electronics and scrap metal. Obviously, we do have the scrap metal. And electronics, we need... Well, we just need more base material. So just craft those. We're just out of the... Ones we needed. Oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, you can see the drone, the repair drone there. It uh, it uh, wakes up, goes over, and fixes that. So it's pretty good. So there's our electronics, but I can't place it anywhere. I'm going to dump that down, pick that up, and craft a med bit. Oh, there you go, look. And now it also cleans the solar panels. I mean, to be fair, that's the the, the time it's doing it there is, is probably the almost the perfect time for maintenance of a solar panel isn't it really when it's dark i'm just going to place a med bay at the back there i know i'm sealing off the back so we can't walk around but there's no reason why we why we do that anyway we don't have any great reason there's the artifact number nine five research points there i'm just going to put another one in and i think we'll go one two three and we might as well just craft the three of those and then we're going to have to look for more artifacts again. Just going to put the scrap away as well. Another one. Two, three in total. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to stay inside. 175 oxygen this thing holds now. So our suit holds almost double what this hab can but to be fair <laughs> that thing is the only one that can produce the uh the stuff so there, there you are so just gonna go to that dump those in there might as well actually use the medical facility since i've built it so up here and hang on you just... there you go using med medical facility good right let's uh, eat some food Get in here, and I was going to make a water collector, but it looks like, well, we haven't had, well, we haven't had time really. Well, we have had time, but I've just been focusing on other things. Um, right back to the southwest again. Uh, sorry, southeast. Well, there you go. Look, we've now got a healing thing, so you can use it if you wanted to go into combat as like a a temporary buff, essentially, because it'll give you health regen as a passive. Whoa, just have to <laughs> get around that lightning strike. And another lightning strike. We'll get out. We'll grab this. Assuming... That was close again. I assume you've been following the entire series. And... <laughs> when I see this, it does remind me of that first episode that was quite difficult to survive in and we also had the added problem of the unknown like enemies how tough are they we just don't know 
I was expecting them to be a little more difficult, but it's not a complaint, just an observation. Some, sometimes I think it would be nice if the game was a bit more difficult at times or had more of a challenge, etc. And then I think, well, actually, no, I don't think I do. <laughs> maybe, maybe at times, but the whole point in that it's a fairly light-hearted, relaxed survival game. There are many, 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 many more survival games that cater for... people who want a more turbulent experience although to be fair I am getting a bit <laughs> I'm getting a bit damaged with this oh, with this uh, rover here and bashing it around it's on 61% you can see there's little bits that I've missed there but I'm not too bothered about going back to find the rest of it and we're now heading to the northeast by the look of it. <laughs> There's another one of those creatures. They make like a squeak. I noticed. Oh. And this also makes a nice clunk when you hit into the ground, uh, into any trees or rocks or whatever. You just slalom. It's not as manoeuvrable, this vehicle, with the leg iron on that is <laughs> this, this uh, trailer. But, I think for long expeditions, it's pretty much mandatory. I've found only two artifacts, and that's a bit uh, a bit disappointing. But, it is what it is. We'll, we'll head back, I think. We haven't got a nav beacon, so I'll just have to keep opening the map to see where we are. But, I'm, it's pretty much southwest, anyway, and we'll just thread around these rocks. And yeah, I do say thread when I mean crash into. It's actually fortunate because we are just getting low on power. You see on the left hand side there it was running out. There is oh there's a point there. Right, so that'll be artifact thirteen, was it? Yeah, or oh, fourteen, sorry, fourteen. We've got a recycler, or oh, we've got a navigation beacon. I'm gonna craft a navigation beacon, or at least unlock that thing. And how much is a nav beacon? It's relatively inexpensive, but also we don't have any of the ore to to really gather anything from it. Oh, well, there we are. Let's see if that buff works. Yeah, so it's 60 seconds by the look of it. S sorry, no, it's 50 seconds. Bit strange, you would have thought it would have been a minute, 60 seconds, or half a minute or something, but, well, it isn't. So where can we go next? I think left hand side, isn't it? You can see we've we've actually unlocked quite a bit of the map. But I'm not seeing any of the really light green bits. And yeah. Hmm, do I wanna go now? Do I wanna go now? No, I don't think I do. Can we create more chemicals for a battery charge? Just if we need to. We need wires for a battery cell we need wires and chemicals, and for chemicals I think you need uh, water and blue shrooms. We do have both of those. So we've got blue shrooms. We've got ice. Yep. So I'll create. Just create some water. Right. And then there's three chemicals. And we'll. <laughs> It's strange, it makes like a crunching noise when you're drinking the water. You think there'll be a slurp. So either this isn't as defrosted as I thought, or we are eating the entire bottle. <laughs> huh. I much prefer it being the uh, the ice one. Right, we need another, another bit of wire. There we go. So there's the wire, there's the battery cell, there is this researched, and it's the cat scratcher again. There's that researched, and there we go. That's almost everything researched. Oh, there's the automated drone. Doing its thing. <laughs> you see all the little sparks coming off it as well. Eh, not sparks, yeah, like all the nuts and bolts coming off it. I'll just cycle this airlock just to... 
it is inside. And we now have battery cells. I'll repair that. It's instantaneous for us, but it takes a while for the drone to acknowledge, launch, go over there and repair. So, powered water collector would be nice. But, where'd you make the battery charger? You make it here. Battery jumper requires some of those, some of those, and a vehicle repair kit is scrap and components. I'll put this in the back. There you go. Pick up the scrap, put that back, put that back, and vehicle repair kit. So we now have a vehicle repair kit and almost completely full boxes. There you go. So we have a vehicle repair kit which we can place in the back of that. And we have oxygen bottles and a jumper. So we can, in theory, last away from this base a long, long time. I think we're going to go on a little adventure. I'm just going to pick up the last one in here. Yeah, there is one. This is going to be finished in 12 seconds, so we'll crack on with research in a moment. And then just two more days of surviving. Not that, you know, we're not, we're not under the illusion that we have any great issues with survival now. That was uh, one of those. I think the last time we tried to go for a full complete on this one we were one or two shy and that's a shame we haven't built the dozer I didn't feel any need to which is very strange because the last time I built the dozer I think it was certainly a curiosity oh, look at that as soon as we come to like the unknown we find one of the artifacts um yeah the first time we built the dozer it was a curiosity but we did use it to gather a lot of the rocks and make RTGs but I think we only had the one RTG oh, hang on there we go. Or it might have been the two, I can't really remember. But certainly the walls weren't in there at the time, so we didn't have the added... We didn't have the added pressure of having to mine these for the walls. And there's the enemy, and see you later. Oh, it attacked me! Uh, now, this is strange, because my health didn't go down. You may notice that my health is still maximum, but the vehicles did. So it looks like they will attack the vehicle if we're in it. Okay. There's four artifacts, which I'm very, fairly happy about. Handbrake. Drive it like you stole it. And around there. And skid round. And another artifact. We've been very fortunate. We've got a full, <laughs> we got full artifacts. How much is the car? It's about half. I want to try these jumpers. I want to see what they look like. Um, put one of those back. Get the jumpers. Let's see what it's like. There we go. Yeah. So you just, you just fuel it up basically, and it's on full now. Okay. Interesting. I want to see what would happen. Crunch. I mean, I wasn't. I don't think there was going to be many surprises, was there? What happens with the battery charger? Well, it sort of charges the battery. Uh, <laughs> the clue is sort of in the title there. I was just wondering whether it would damage the vehicle or, or, or like have loads of arcing and sparking everywhere. But no, none of that. Just a couple of little, little flashes, and that's it. Right, back into the base. And just put that there. Ah, oh, there's Artifact 12. Continue. Better get out there. So, that was not a bad little jaunt. I think I can create another battery charger if required. Just double check for the battery charger. It requires cables and a battery cell. Well, we have sadly not got those. I'm going to put that there for now. And then create one of those. Create one of those. 
and then battery charger. There we are. Then I'll put the wires back. Battery charger, just for completeness, we'll go there. And there we are. What about another researcher? I think that would be desirable, wouldn't it? A researcher requires metal blocks, electronics, and scrap metal. Uh, is there any point? Every two minutes, we've got a day left. I don't think so. I don't think there's much point in creating another one. Base is losing oxygen, but that's going to fix it. And research. That, I think, is officially everything researched by the look of it. Yeah. We haven't got one of, re one of these recyclers. Extracts metal from chunks of refined scrap. I don't know how you make one. There's a water collector. Which we can craft. And then you can just place this wherever. This one, it'll just collect water when it rains and then you have to pick it up where is the automated one. You can then pump it into a module that we haven't yet built. That we probably won't build. There's the fish again. Where is it, the thing that I was talking about? That one there, water system. The water supply holds water for your greenhouses. Habitat module, component and conduit is what's required to make one of those. And then there's no pipe work. So you just need, need one of them. Okay. Where's the nearest scrap? Or the nearest ore? It's north of the base. Well, quick quick drive up here then. Crunch. <laughs> Repairs are free. Oh, oxygen isn't. There we go. Does this quite nicely. That's good. We already had we had one on our person. And there's food as well. Yes, we had one already on our person. The uh, the oxygen bottle, and there's another one in. Oh, there's another two actually in the in the trailer that we have on the vehicle. I don't know if you can place the trailer on the back of the rover. I'm really not sure. Anyway, there's enough. We got 15 ore. Let's just get back. And there you go. <laughs> totally reversing that trailer the wrong way, but it is what it is. And yes, it needs to be healed again. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yes, yeah, so what do we need for... Um, that's the powered water one. But for the water storage, it is habitat module, component, and conduit. Well, conduit is... There's that. Actually, we have enough now, then. Just need one habitat module. And yeah, we can craft it. Uh, it looks like this is finished researching. We've got three more to research. That's a new one. No, it's not. Yeah, it's a shame it doesn't... It's a shame it doesn't unlock the ones that you don't have. It was a game I was playing as well a little while ago. Can't remember what it was. But you had to complete every run and it would give you. Where's that guy off to? Oh, he's sorting the soul panel out. Every run you would complete something. You would gain points or whatever. And then it would also give you a, a random item. And it, would, it kept giving me this ones that we already have. Which was annoying. So out of, I think, 10 or 12 of these things I needed to collect, <laughs> I had 11. And uh, it would keep giving the same ones and then, no, just refund me for the for the rest of it. 
which was a bit of a shame. But I think this is pretty much the... I think this is pretty much it. Oh, it looks like that drone needs to go again. And you'll probably have to go and go back and sort this out. Yeah, there we are. Because we're on day 25, and it's a half eight at night. And I think that is pretty much it. We have gotten to the end of this thing. So you don't think you have to... Do you have to survive a full, another full day? I can't remember. Or whether it's just you have to get to day 26. We shall find out. I'm just collecting these water bottles here. Because then you can... If I remember rightly, you can put them in there. Yeah, see that? So I can put the water bottles in there. So if I didn't have an automated collector, I can fill them up that way. But it's been fun. It has been fun. I mean, I'm talking as if this is going to immediately end in a second. But yeah, I've enjoyed it. It's It's been nice checking out some of the new stuff. The walls and doors are interesting. I'm not going to pretend that they are overly useful because, well, there isn't a threat that requires the building of them at the moment. The new enemies are fairly cool, but again, there's nothing like major there. They don't drop anything that we need. There's no reason for us to hunt them. They're not swarming at our base. I mean, you know, I don't expect the game to have all of that. Um, but yeah, it's nice to see some of the new stuff. And at least I've got the windmill right this time. When I previously made it, I put it, I think, right next door to this. And I don't know whether that's because it didn't have the box around it. It might not have been implemented at the time to indicate what's too close to it. Or maybe I just, yeah, just missed it for whatever reason. But, yeah, we got it the right way this time. Day 25, coming to day 26, any second now. And like I say, it might be one more day survival. But there you go, the final day. Yes, we need one more day of survival. That's fine. I think we'll quickly run for artifacts then. We might as well go and have a quick drive. Do we have any more artifacts left? We have one artifact remaining. Let's reverse this out. Uh, where's the best place? Uh, northwest. Out we go. I'm going to assume that we're not going to get everything researched. I mean, we probably have time to research two or three more things. But it's just luck, isn't it? You know, there's several items. Several artifacts. And we've not... We've only, over the last two or three days, got what we needed. So we've got one of the four that we were missing. So, yeah, it is what it is. Oh. Looks like this guy's guiding that. I wonder if that's a thing, actually. If we're going to have these artifacts and having them have the enemies guard that. That would be fairly interesting, wouldn't it? Having these artifacts be guarded by the enemies. That would give them a bit more purpose. <laughs> Just go straight into it. And crunch. No, it didn't work. <laughs> uh, good grief back in here and sorry there we go dealt with off we go we've got two to be honest that's going to be that's enough I think isn't it for our research I do want one more I'll get one more just in case it's a big rock field that's a rock field perfect right in front of us And there we go. And we'll head straight back. Oh! <laughs> we won't head straight back. There's one right there. I don't even think we'll have the in-game time to research this. I was going to about say threaded, but no. It seems as if the game... The, the game, not the game. The, the vehicle is cutting out, but it's not. It's just I'm pressing M to open the map. And it stops for just a moment. The vehicle. There's the laser pointer again. Just a shame. It's not giving the other ones. There's that. So yeah, there's lots of ways to get water. Oh, look at that. It's actually got some water in it by the look of it. There's lots of ways to get water. 
collecting ice or using this or using the automated one. There's many ways to get electricity. You've got, I guess, in sending order of tech, you've got the generator where you put in. It's just the, the internal combustion generator, I think. The wind turbines, the solar panels, the RTG. Obviously, you've got two types of batteries, so you can store that. But in order to get batteries, you have to go through chemicals and such. So there's a lot to get to. And uh, I'm actually going to have to grab one, two. And... Oh, I don't have any... I think, sadly, just like the... Uh, just like the Martian, we have to eat some undesirable rations for the latter... Well, for the last couple of days. I can't remember if that's in the book. I'm talking about the book The Martian by um, Andy Weir, I think it is. Although I watched the film first, and I do actually think I prefer the film. Heresy, I know to say you prefer a film over a book. But then again... <laughs> Mumbles in Lord of the Rings. I can't say, I've, no, I've never read The Lord of the Rings. I've seen the films many times, but I've not read the books. Six seconds for the latter part of this. And what are we going to get? That laser pen again. <laughs> the game is really trolling us with that laser pen. But yeah, overall, I had some fun and it's been a nice chill one. Apart from the first episode. Ironically, the uh, the first episode was probably the most stressful we've, we've been in this game. We had problem with oxygen and only barely got back. I think we were on... It was less than five health. I'll put it that way. It was like two or three health. Um, one and four are also numbers that are a possibility. But it was less than five health, I believe. Uh, food, we were having some problem with that. We haven't got quite far. And look at that. It's filling up with water slowly. Can I just like... I guess I'll need water bottles or something. I don't know. But yeah, it was uh, tense for a moment. But we managed to... Not skip ahead on the research, but we got a lot of resources and managed to get to a point where we had a lot of the high-tech stuff relatively early on. So that meant we could just, you know, survive relatively easy. RTGs, I think we've got earlier than we have done in previous uh, runs. And I actually think one of the big advantages was the wind turbine, because that meant we didn't have to keep going for uh, looking for wood. So yeah. Solar and that, definitely the way forward. I noticed that the battery is going down, so in the night time, the RTG and this uh, won't work. Uh, it doesn't make enough power, but in the daytime, the solar panels pick up the slack. Right, mission complete. Return to the lander and take off. Don't worry, you can always come back. And there we go. Propulsion go, retro go, encom go, guidance go, telemetry go, toys go, snacks go, and <laughs> off we go. And there we are. That is a success. You have completed your mission. Normal mission, day survive 27, artifacts researched 15. I didn't sadly get all of the artifacts. I could have stuck around, but quite frankly, there's no more challenge in the campaign. I understand that this episode has basically been a little chill one and just a completionist thing, really, and getting it to the end, but it's not been a, a big challenge. But we wanted to complete it, and we have, and hopefully, as I said, it's been a fairly chill one for you and uh, interesting. But there you are. That's been a bit of Moonbase. Always like to jump on this maybe every 6 to 12 months and see what it's like. Hopefully, there'll be some more enemies and other things added in the future, but overall, have enjoyed it, and it's been a fairly chill one. As always, hope you have enjoyed enjoyed the video and the series comments in the comments thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings